Today's outfit for Our Flag Means Death is brought to you by Bowen. What's going on guys? My name is Morgan and welcome to or back to my channel. Today we are reacting to more Our Flag Means Death episode 7 called This Is Happening. Speaking of This Is Happening, this is happening courtesy of Bowen. Long story short, my friends and I hosted a charity live stream for the Trevor Project last week and Bowen dared me to dress up like a pirate for Our Flag Means Death. <laughs> And so I said, sure, why not? It's for a good cause. So that's why I'm dressed up as a pirate. I This was the best I could come up with today. Yeah, so this is this is what you guys get. It's Ruffly Shirt Morgan with a headband on. This is the best I could do. As always, before we get into it, if you want the full uncut video, that'll be available over on the Patreon. If you want to follow me on social media, you could do so here. So last week, Jackie is now teaming up with Izzy. And in the previous episode, we had the English Navy coming after Steed. So it seems like, I don't know, it's all coming to a head and we're all fucked. That's my predictions for this episode. We'll see. And all that being said, let's get into this. Oh, that's perfect. You got it just right. I know. A dollop of milk and seven sugars. He knows his tea Wouldn't order. I can't stay around here forever. Besides, the ship has only one captain. captain? Yes. Yes. No, oh, it sorry, doesn't. It has two. Uh, my bed. Your ship. Who are we saying is captain right now? Me. Him. Right. We only have one captain. Both of them. Huh? <laughs> captain, bad news. Hold okay. that thought, will you? Hold the thought on bad news, bro. It's probably that people are approaching and you're fucked. Maybe don't hold that news. I don't feel as though you need to rush out on my account. I mean, we're all enjoying your company here. Yes. Yeah, I know. I, me too. We're out of oranges. This is the emergency. Eat an apple, for God's sake! Eat an apple! We really needed the oranges. To treat the scurvy. Scurvy? Oh! My teeth keep falling out. Get those oranges! Get those oranges! <laughs> uh, yeah, no shit. I don't know if you haven't noticed. The sweet has scurvy. <laughs> we don't know that it's sweet. scurvy. Hey, hey, hey! Don't breathe oh, over me, man. Go I say, just said we uh, don't know that it's... Uh, oh, God. Me. Look, I hate to toss anyone under the carriage, but it does seem like bad meal planning. Hey, there was that cake you had me make with the 40 orange glaze. You wasted 40 orange, oh. okay? On the glaze, plus another 10 for the cake itself. What? what? All right, stop going on about your cakes. I don't mean to throw anyone of the best. Tries to throw fucking Roach under the bus. It's actually his fault. <laughs> God damn it, Steed. Your luxury sometimes costs your resources. Let's just accept the fact that due to Roach's immoderate use of the citrus, we now have to go grocery shopping. St. Augustine's full of oranges, and we're right near there. St. Augustine? Oh, no. Florida St. Augustine? Or is it a different St. Augustine? Because Florida St. Augustine lived there for four months. It was awful. Fucking awful. I hope it's not that St. Augustine, because it was bad in 20... 19 when I lived there? Probably was worse back then. <laughs> it's boring and awful and the humidity? Do you understand what that'll do to your hair? So? It's gotta be Florida. St. Augustine. What? Oh. This was their family that got murdered? I know they say their family got murdered and that that was their dagger. So I, I assumed this was recent when they said their family had gotten murdered. I didn't know it was this far back to when they were a little kid. Are you really not going to tell me? Tell you what? Why well, what is your best friend? I'm not scared of something with steam. No? You had a pretty strong reaction just then. No, I didn't. Jackpot! He knows oh, them so Jackpot. well. You found the oranges? Ah, no. Bad luck on that front, I'm afraid. Not a single orange to be found. In but Florida? I may have bitch, got something what? It's better. the fucking orange state. Lucius, a treasure map. Come on. It took me 40 minutes oranges. of bargaining to get this. Oranges are more important, Steve. Unless it's a treasure trove of oranges. It's not important right now. You're all gonna get scurvy. The vendor wasn't gonna sell it to me, but I managed to sweet talk her. By giving her a lot of money, like more money than I've ever seen in my life. All right, come on, calm down. An God damn! And we'll recoup once we find the loot. What if it's useless Don't loot? My shovel. What about the oranges? Still on with the oranges? Really? What? Excuse me. It's scurvy, bro. I don't mind saving a gay on this one, Captain. Why don't I take a few men out on recognizance, see what we can't rustle up? Oh, that's surprisingly. There you go. You black Thank you. Thank, Thank you. I'm glad someone's on it. I think Jim should do it. You know, seeing as though they're from here. I never said that. Yeah, you don't say a lot. Right. Fine. Whatever. Go with. Alawande said they're from here. 
Does Alawande know about Jim's gender identity, but no one else does? So far, that's the only time I've heard anyone mention Jim in the terms of they. My NB ears are perked up. I'm listening. I am paying attention. I'm saving my teeth so I can put them back in. Uh, you can't do that! The thing is, sweet teeth don't work like that. No. Once they're out, they don't go back in. Most body parts around this time, that's that the, rule. The teeth don't go back in? <laughs> Go for a run, sweet. Oh, I hate to be a downer, but people just don't bury treasure. It's just not done. You're telling me. You are telling me. He's worried about Blackbeard leaving him, so he spent all this money to get a buried treasure map to try and persuade Blackbeard into doing more stuff with him. That's what you're telling me? That's what you're telling me. Okay, I'm just gonna sit my monster and just... Very interesting. Very interesting turn of events. If it were real, why would she have sold it to you? Why not keep the map yourself and find the treasure? True. Itself? Oh, strong Very good point. Last I heard, a ship only has one captain. And the captain of this vessel says, on your feet, we're having a day. Okay. Is he always this highly strong? Yeah. The fact Blackbeard's just gonna go along with this. He's not even gonna fight him. Of, I'm, I'm sorry. You're the captain now? Who, who conquered who? The fact he's just going along with it. I love it. Because you're weirdly and freakishly secretive, Jim. No, I'm not. I'm normal. Secretive. Jim. Jim, I've known you for over a year. I didn't yeah. know you were from St. Augustine. I don't even know what your favorite color is. What's that got oh. to do with anything? Everything. He wants to know more about them. Friends tell each other these kind of things. Teal. Let's go! Color is teal. Oh my god, Jim and Mosca were twinsies with the teal favorite color. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Was he expecting oh, blood red? The mission to be I think the main thing is your leadership. And Jim, they think they just started talking. Yeah, but Jim's a cunt. They're all using they pronouns for Jim. Let's fucking go. I think we're all set. <laughs> Boom! Wait, orange. It looks like. Yeah, no. No, it looks like they they belong to someone that owns that property. Those are off limits. We'll go somewhere else. Why? K -k -k church. What are they? Christ oranges. <laughs> <laughs> See, is there a problem? Now that was incredible. Oh my bad, god! Especially for a nun. Yeah. Don't kill us, sister. I'm in the tribe. Yes. I'm in the tribe. <laughs> I'm in the tribe. <laughs> fucking show dude i can't it's so funny don't kill us sister i'm in the tribe yes just join just join <laughs> frenchies me <laughs> nana but you think this is hilarious this is fucking fascinating that's your nan this is fucking come fascinating in, come in nana now look we're gonna have fun today and that's an order we're gonna have fun! Awesome. Everyone's having fun! My guys like Blackbeard. They live for adventure. It's like nourishment for them. So we're gonna have an extremely fun, memorable, deeply cool adventure. He literally just said he's doing it for Blackbeard. They're so fucking gay. They're so fucking gay. I can't handle it. <laughs> now, do I have your support on that? Yeah, okay. Fuzzy ones. Bit a priest finger off. What? <laughs> I, we thought they were feral. I, the priest swore that he died of rabies. <laughs> well, he didn't, did he? He was crushed by a tree. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dark humor over here. <laughs> Oy, life is pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> life is pain? <laughs> They just say shit out of pocket. It's just so fucking funny. I like Nana. Nana passes the vibe check. Or is it just a living in sin situation? Jesus Christ. Oh. She approves. She's like, marry this man now. Who else would agree to get paid? With oranges. <laughs> Jim actually smiled. Jim has almost never smiled unless they're causing chaos. That was a big thing for them just now. See, we're already finding stuff. Great, you found a bug. Cheers. <laughs> and who says treasure maps are useless? Well, I wasn't being sarcastic. That's just how I talk. Well, like <laughs> what you want. But without the map, we wouldn't have found this little guy. So it's already paying dividends. 
Was it pretty interesting? It's a little interesting? You're saying you're having a little bit of fun? I know you're mostly miserable, but it was a little bit interesting? I'm taking what I could get, okay? I'm taking what I could get. I'm dressed up like a pirate, let me enjoy myself, okay? You know what your problem is? You just have no idea how to relax! That's it, Lucius! I mean, you are True. kind of intense. Like, all of the time. I'm not. I know how to relax. <laughs> I'm actually quite relaxed. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking nature, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> no! Motherfucker! No! Fuck you! Very relaxed! Very relaxed! According to the map, there are snakes in this area, so just be careful. I think Blackbeard's got it covered. Mm. Oh, they're eating the snake. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Admit it. This is a bit of fun. It's actually really well tenderized. You could be a chef. Maybe I will. I can do anything. Maybe I will. I'd come to your restaurant. You might not get in. It's going to be very popular. <laughs> Save me a seat, wouldn't you? Maybe. I don't know why this is. This is reminding me of that that scene in Hell of a Boss where he's like, "I'm going to build a big circus in a big office, and if you apply, I'll hire you." Really? You'll hire me? <laughs> like. At the I don't know. I just think it's cute. It was cute then. It's cute now. What night do you want to come? Sunday night. It's a busy night. I'll come on the Monday. What? I can probably get you. I like how Lucius is just like watching the scene unfold like silently. He's like, oh, these bitches gay for each other. <laughs> and other delicacies and delights and fishing equipment. Oh, I just realized he's got like, he's got like a mermaid on his arm, like a tattoo. It looks like a serpent or a snake of some kind and it looks like i can't tell if that's a skull with two eyes or if that's a treasure map i knew he had tattoos but i didn't like i don't think i've ever paid attention to what he had tattooed on him maybe a gift shop out the back then you could say oh i hope you enjoyed your meal have you seen the gift shop well they say oh no thank you. i've just come for a nice meal that's the, oh then now they're angry no maybe they'll leave a bad review another guy <laughs> from the other side of the room might go oh i'm into gifts this is such a domestic conversation i can't I can't handle this. I can't handle this. Oh my god. This is so cute. <laughs> they're literally talking about Ed opening a restaurant. And being like, oh, people will be mad. Now they're upset. And Seed's like, they won't be upset. It's so cute. Oh yeah, well, that's the guy I'm after. I want him to come. Who's he? That's me. Oh. Oh. oh you've got <laughs> a little bit in your beard. No, come to the down a bit. Just grab it. Just, Just grab it. Do the trope, just grab it! Look at the fucking look in his eyes. Look at the look in his eyes. Look at. Look at that soft fucking look. Look at that soft fucking look. It kind of looks like Steed's looking at his lips. It's probably the beard, but. Oh, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Lucius is fucking me! Blackbeard's snakery. That's your specialty. Sna the Atlantic Ocean. Why are they zooming in on this map? What's the significance of this map? It looks like a normal map. I can't read what half of it fucking says. Curry snackery. Snake snacks. Oh, snake snacks. Oh! Snake snacks. That's why! This child was not raised to kneel or to turn the other cheek. I taught them how to be silent. And that's why I love Jim. Stealthy enough. And after many years of practice, Bonifacia was ready. For revenge? Shit! Ready? For what? To take their revenge. Revenge yes. for their bloodline. Revenge for the meek God's divine revenge. <laughs> Seven of the most dangerous and brutal killers this land has ever seen. Were they all married to Jackie? Tell me, my child. See, see, no, no, I got oodles of revenge. Oodles? Yes. Do we have to do this right now? If not now, when? Tell oh, me. Oh, they don't want to do it in front of Alawande. How many of the Siete Gallos live? I, I don't know. It, six, unless some of them died of other things. Oh, they only killed one of them. You just killed one of them. The only one that mattered. Jackie's husband. 
Why do you gotta eat like that, bro? Oh. You just killed. I was there. He was. He was very surprised. Nana's not happy. I don't think. Eres una decepción. Okay, fuck you, Nana. Fuck you, Nana. Yeah, life is a disappointment. Throw it right back in her face. You were fine. You you were you were passing the vibe check. You are no longer passing the vibe check. You are now disowned. Jim, get out of there. If you want the revenge so bad, you do it, Nana. I'm gonna try and undo some of the damage from that interaction. <laughs> Poor Hollow on day. Come on, the day's not fully ruined. God, if I could be moping all the way back to the ship. You'd have to be a dick about it. Ooh. What? I said don't be a dick. Okay? Because he's put together this whole outing for you. He Wait, did. What? This is why you leave. You're very cool. And you wear leather. Okay, so maybe you won't understand. <laughs> You're very cool. And you wear leather. <laughs> and that bizarre little man over there likes you very much. And you like him. And if you can't get over yourself long enough to realize that, you're going to end up another leather clad middle-aged sad sack, dying alone in a puddle of his own piss. Wow. Well done, Lucius. You can stab me in the face now. You can stab me in the face now. The fact he was willing to say that for, to Blackbeard for Steed. He didn't even like Steed in the beginning, but now he's standing up for him. Thank you, Lucius. He's such a little bean. I think standing up to Izzy really changed him. Yeah, a little bit there on that little scrappy bit of paper. That looks like a tree, doesn't it, boy? Yeah, no, definitely just to me. And the, the, the other little squiggly bit, what's that little one? I think just with this little bit here, we could probably sort this out. There were all the pieces we need. Plus, Will they actually be able to, though? Basically just blank space anyway. Uh, oh, that's well, true. Most of the map was blank to space. Dig something up. <laughs> look at this the way. smile. Look, look at that ball. Look, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> look at. Ed, look at Steed, and look at Lucius, look at Ed, looking at Steed. Lucius is all of us. <laughs> this way. Look at that smile, he's like... Come on. That was very sweet. Don't. <laughs> I'm a little step in your fucking eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Nuestra tierra. Que buena naranja, thing. Could you at least pick the shit out of your mustache? In serio? He was literally gonna give it up for nothing and you killed him! Piece of shit. When I came to, I was in the woods holding this. My father's knife. I was out there for weeks before anyone could find me. Christ. Poor Jim. Jim, that's awful, man. Yeah, they're traumatized as fuck! They're surprisingly well adjusted for an orphan yeah. raised by a nun to be a killing machine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's a lot. Yeah. She's my only family. Well, look. If you wanted, I could be family. Ah! Let's go, please. He's such a good man. Oh, 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 You sure ooh. this is the right tree? Damn it, Steed! Oh, yeah, Fuck! Just like the one off the map. Guys? What are you doing to my family's tree? Yeah, that's Jim's tree. Hey. We're just letting him dig for a bit to get it out of the system. I found something! <laughs> What do you think it could be? A rock. A rock. I think it's a rock. Yep, yeah. it's a rock. Of course it is. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Oh. That's usually how these things go. You just end up finding a rock or... It looks very a circular for a shit. rock. I guess the real treasure was our day spent together. Am I right? Oh, yes. It looks very circular for a rock. We spend every day together. Treasure is the real treasure. Hey, look at that. It's an orange. <laughs> Petrified. Huh, well, that's nice. Well, Is that any use? Some fruit to get after all. I suppose you should have it. It's your land. Yeah, it is their land. It's cool. Finders keepers. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to give it to you. <laughs> I think Jesus this is my Steve. new favorite thing. I told you I took that lady down at the docks Worry. for a ride, didn't I, Lucius? You sure did, boss. Yeah, it's all worth it for a petrified Worry. orange. I have to finish the job, not for oh. her. For me. Yeah. If that's what you need, Jim, you do it. Be careful. You know me. Yeah, have you met Jim? You should yeah. tell the other people to be That's careful. I'm saying, be careful. Oh, but I liked Jim. Why do we gotta say goodbye to Jim? Where is Bonifacia? Gone. Sat there to finish the job. Lo siento, hijo. La vida es todo. Poor Alawande's always getting the short end of the stick.
Alawande can never win. I don't know if I, uh, well, agree that a ship can only have one captain. Hmm. Yes, well, I suppose if you found the absolutely two perfect people, then they could potentially... Co-captain? Co <laughs> we said the same thing. Cheers. Cheers. And I would about him in that deal. I would about him. Oh, God, they're all going to team up. I don't like having their kind in my establishment. So you're Spanish, Jackie? Yeah. Are you Spanish? No. So why do they call you Spanish, Jackie? I don't know. <laughs> he broke my nose jar, and one of his crew murdered my favorite husband. I didn't follow any of that. And you? Totally fair. Boss, he had to have been there. Done something to my boss's brain. Who is this chump to you? Yeah, I showed him happiness. This chump. Killed my brother. Is that a fucking cat? We can serve Steve Bonnet. Is that a fucking cat? For a price. Name it. God damn. Well, looks like my thoughts were correct at the beginning of this when I was like, they're probably gonna team up. They're probably not gonna all come at them at once though. It makes more sense this route, having Izzy give up the location of Steve. So that way Izzy isn't directly fucking over Blackbeard or isn't associated with it. It makes more sense this way, truthfully, but we'll see. So that was episode seven of our flag means death. A very cute episode, but also like, I felt really bad for Jim. Jim having to, you know, live that life of like, it's up to you to avenge your family and like Nana being a little bit of a bitch. Like, and I understand it's Jim's only family, but I'm a spicy pickle, okay? I get mad easily, <laughs> especially when it's a character I care about that's getting fucked over. So yeah, but that was really cute, the interactions between Steed and um, that he did all of that for Ed and that Lucius even came to Steed's defense. Like, listen, Ed, or he said Blackbeard, he did all this for you. He likes you for some fucking reason, and the world treats him like shit, so be fucking nice about it. And he was like, you can stab me in the face. Now, he was fully preparing to stand up for Steed and get stabbed in the face. Lucius is a sweetheart, and I love that. Now, Steed and uh, Ed are gonna co-captain. It's just adorable, and I love it. So I'm excited for where the rest of this season's gonna go. It's probably gonna get very anxiety-inducing when the English, or the British Navy, whatever the fuck they're called, go after Steed and Ed and their crew. But yeah, also, hold on. I wanted to get that print someone sent me because I'm starting to realize things symbolize things in this drawing. So I got it before we covered these. So the tentacles of the Kraken, which we found out like a couple of episodes ago was Ed. The lighthouse is Steed. The cat, I think, would be reminiscent of Frenchie because his whole thing is cats. The orange is probably Jim. And then, like, the pirate map was what we explored in this episode. So I think that's what that means. Not entirely sure, but now this is starting to make sense to me why these illustrations are on here. It's making me appreciate the print even more that they incorporated all this stuff into it. Uh, that was episode seven. This is happening. If you want the full uncut video, that is about 42 minutes at this point. That's available over on the Patreon. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.